this film, when it was finished, I left and I wanted to be a better person. Mm. I did. Job done. Absolutely. Okay, that's great. But what have you done since to be a better person? I think I, that's the bigger I'm challenge. I'm still working on it. Okay. As are we. Do you try to be aggressively kind? Yes. Do you try to listen and be present? Exactly. Okay. All exactly. Right. Very good. The loveliest man, just the loveliest man. I mean, and we don't really have an equivalent here. No. But no. it doesn't matter. One of the Teletubbies. Maybe. <laughs> it's about as close Thank as you, Minky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Known for his listening. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Tinky Winky doesn't say much. No, yeah. Because yeah. he was listening. Oh, it was such a great film. It really was. Well, and and like I say, you don't have to have had a Mr. Rogers to, to, to get it. I think Mari, our boss, did a great job when she started the film as she did with exactly the way the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood program itself yes. began. With the same timing on the same set, with literally the same lights mm. and the same, wow. the same sort of TV sure. cameras. Mm. Um, because you, that trend, you, rather than explaining how Mr. Rogers did his show, you actually see it, see it. Yeah. and I think you get it. You, oh, you yeah, don't need you more it. information. Right. Yeah. You weren't sure though, you've been asked to do it before, haven't you, to well, play this kind the, of the way show business works. <laughs> I'm gonna, I know you're a journalist and so this is your beat, but I'm gonna tell you how show business works. <laughs> Um, is that a, a screenplay existed many, many, many years ago. And it's the first blush of what the story could be. Okay. It wasn't what the, it wasn't the screenplay that we were working. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I don't think they even had the permission to use Mr. Rogers the first time. Oh. It? Mm. And so you're reading really a blank canvas and what it requires is the filmmaker makes the film. Mm. And Mari and I, I had been trying to work with her for a while based on uh, some films and she and I were, uh, uh, corresponding and when she said I found this thing that I really want to do with you right. and I, I said let me go back and look at that again please send me the latest okay. then that led to a discussion of exactly what are you trying to get dig into with mm. this film and she said the thing that I think struck terror into both of our hearts she said I want to make a movie about men and their feelings right. and that almost chased me away right well, I'm not surprised <laughs> a ludicrous idea <laughs> The last thing I'm going to do <laughs> yes. is share my feelings on camera. <laughs> but you so did. <laughs> you yeah, so, so did. Your character, I mean, he's, he has to go through such a lot in this film. And he is, we can recognise this man who's kind of very jaded and um, bad relationships, mm. not doing that well, mm. um, questioning his ability to be a dad. Mm. And then, I don't know why she chose me. <laughs> and then he's saved, though. Yeah. He's saved. Yes. But it takes him a wee while. Well, yes, doesn't yeah. it? Doesn't it to us all? Yes. That's yeah, true. It, yeah, and, and you know, obviously, that's the, that's the that was one of the great interests to me of this, what he has to go through. Yeah. Uh, and I was incredibly curious as as to Tom Juno, the the journalist that it's based on. Mm. You know that this this happened in his life, yeah. and that was the one of the things I I really wanted to mine in him when I met him was like how much to what degree what truly happened where where were you coming from uh, and you know there was so so much of that is in the film it's it's an it's yes an incredibly interesting story but as you said infinitely relatable he oh, was, he, Tom was was completely open about it he shared yes. he was willing yeah. to share everything yes. that he'd gone through which yes. was really good. Yeah. It, it made it, it, that's what makes it, that's, mm. that's what makes that honesty mm. as well. Because, and seeing the way that he's, because you can see he's going, this guy cannot be like that. Mr. Rogers cannot be yeah. this kind yes. and this understanding. What's, and that, it, what's, he, what's he trying to do? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And you know, we are all a little bit like that now. There's got to be a darker side. You know, it can't possibly be that. But, but he can, and it gives you such hope. That there's people like that in the world, that people like that did inhabit this, this world, yes. you know? It's well, kind I, people. I, yeah, I, th I think the thing that we discovered in the, in, in the most of it is that um, Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers, never once lied to Tom. Mm. You know, he even mm. said, oh, I'm, 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 I'm a failure in many ways, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cracked vessel. I have, I have all the bad feelings uh, that anybody has. We all do. Mm. So he's not saying, oh, no, I don't have any problem. Oh, no, I have no, a whole exactly. philosophy of dealing with that. No, yeah. he, he demonstrated his philosophy by demonstrating <laughs> philosophy, <laughs> by, by acting upon it, by no, being true. aggressively kind. And, and he, wasn't, he wasn't a saint by any means. No. Because no. then he would be actually unreachable. Yes. And he yeah, wouldn't be yeah. able to talk to people the way that he did. I mean, the way he spoke to children was absolutely unbelievable. Mm. Never patronizing, no. never talking down to them. Just somehow he had this magic mm -hmm. that they just came and 
and and spoke to him like it, it's just like like he was talking to anyone else. So that was brilliant. Mm-hmm. But, but and brilliant. also self confessed that it was something he worked at doing. You know, yeah, that yeah, yeah. he 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 very diligently went about the, the timing that it takes to, for, to talk to a child for them to in order to process yeah. and 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 you know answer. Yeah, he, he he went about it with in a very disciplined way, in the same way, and you know. Touching on what, what you said about he, he wasn't a saint. He went about working at mm. this philosophy. It took it took you know intention and and graft. It yeah. didn't come. It didn't. It no. wasn't. He wasn't born with it. It took time, and that's yes. the thing we don't have much of these days. It well, took we time. think we don't. No, but we can work on well, it. We, we do can. on television. We'll be talking here for the next forty-five minutes. Yes, we will. No, no, yes. No, we will. And Absolutely. Why? Days. What? We won't. And no, and no, cut it down. <laughs> but, to but I, thought you, I thought you cared about us. <laughs> we do. Right. So, I so, you're much. Invest in us. so much. We were promised. Who do we think? Because I was trying to think of who is like him, who is like Mr. Rogers. And in the UK, I can think of David Attenborough, maybe. Uh, right. Kind yes. of. Mm-hmm. It's different. Yes. But mm-hmm. that same sort of humanity, yes. I guess. But As I a matter of fact, if David Attenborough just put pauses in his shows. Mm-hmm. Yes. He said things like, <clears throat> the Kriako ladybud is an amazing creature. Pause. So we could say, yeah, it well, kind yeah, of yeah, is. Yeah. One wonders how it actually selects a mate. Pause. I wonder how it does. too. <laughs> That would work. Then, then it would, it that would, would work. It, you would kind of like have yeah. that, that back and forth that Mr. Rogers I know, put but into his I just his don't think we've got a Mr. Rogers. Is there anybody that strikes you that could be Mr. Rogers? I've, today? I've thought diligently about my own childhood. You yeah. know what we watched, but it t- wasn't the same here. His was Chris Tallon, exactly. Timmy Mallet. Yeah, you go, my God, we were, we were just. Bom- bombast. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> it was very like, bright. It's it was no very, wonder we didn't like. It was full on Saturday was morning. Like, I'm exhausted. I, I needed a nap. And who needs Mr. Rogers the most, do we think? All of us? I think the whole, I think the world could do a, ver- a version of, of Mr. Rogers. There's certainly elements of, of, of everything he preached that can be extracted and, and, and utilised. Ah, that's brilliant. And it's just proper storytelling. Proper storytelling. Well, there's that. I think it's a surprise. I don't think it, mm. it, you, you, when you find out there's going to be a movie made about Mr. Rogers, I think you have some sort of... Uh, the expectations are going to be this preachy thing that is going to tell you how to think and what have you. And I think at the end of the day, our movie says, be kind and share your feelings. That's not exactly a revolutionary That's idea, not, it's but it's a revolutionary <laughs> practice. Yeah, uh, and if more, if if we did that, I, 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 I think both of us were, we all want to be better men, mm-hmm. better husband, <laughs> better, better parent, better yeah. professional, better friend, because we've had this experience and we realize how many times we've failed at being a better version of all those things. But you are widely recognized as the nicest man in the world. Well, I think I'm kind and I think I I give everybody a fair shake, but beware if you take advantage of my good nature, Lorraine. Yeah. I will, I have agents (laughs) that will crush you. You hear that? You hear that? It's a, a, this is a fake leg. I pay the price. I you pay, pay the, the price. price. That's that, right. Yes. He didn't appreciate some coffee I brought him. <laughs> yeah. He and that was, was it. Yeah, okay. I, I cut him off for the better part of the day, and I didn't let him come back until he was knocking on my trailer door in tears. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's right. All right. All right, Matt. Come on. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. We do share, though, something that we both love very much, and that's Maeve Binchy. Oh. I am the biggest Maeve Binchy fan. I adored the woman. She was uh, incredible. I was, I, was, I was at some place, and I just yeah. needed something to read, and I took this tattered paperback book called Light a Pitting Candle that uh, honestly altered, altered my life. It's a, th- this is funny because I'm not Irish. I don't come from that territory, but I read that, and I'm not even I'm not even the the, the woman. Now, what was the name of the, the main character in that? He said her name was Colleen or something like that, some great Irish name. And I said, I know exactly what she's going through. Yeah, yeah. I read yeah. that book and said, Oh, this is me. This is me. I know what she's going through. Maybe oh, was I was so happy that you did that. Because you know when sometimes people ask you who's your favorite author and you want to go, oh Tolstoy or <laughs> Solzhenitsyn. Well, I have <laughs> pretended to read Tolstoy. <laughs> yes. We've all pretended. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But she's Fantastic, oh, and again a storyteller. Thick tones, yeah. you know that. Oh, that in yeah. uh, Circle of Friends, oh, that's Circle another one. Oh, it'll break you, break oh, you in two, absolutely break fantastic. you in two. <laughs> but so so good. Are you going to do any more writing? Uh, I, I I think I I told somebody that I was going to. Whether to. I actually do it or not, that's no, a completely must. different. I loved thing. your stories. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, I love them. Absolutely thank you very brilliant. much. And I love that you put little pictures of, of feet. Have you seen this? Not feet, shoes. Feet would be wrong. But you put you put photos of shoes. 
Well, on, on, the, the, on the it, Instagram. Oh, I do yeah. that. Yes. There's there's gloves. Gloves. And gloves Any, yeah. Anything that's lost. Uh -huh. I always think, how did, how did that get here? How did here? that get there? Exactly. How did that get here? I took a picture of a kitchen spatula. Is that the English word? I think spatula? so. Yeah, I think yes, spatula yes, is yes. a It was laying universal. in the middle of 45th Street and 9th Avenue. And I just thought, how, what, what, how, did, how did a there? spatula get here? But there's a story to that spatula. Yes. Someone was moving, mm -hmm. and they got in, they finally put all their stuff away, and they went to make uh, flat, flat jacks yeah. in the morning and said, I can't turn, where is my spatula? What did you do where this? is my spatula? <laughs> Cut to honk honk, beep beep, <laughs> spatula laying on the ground. That's See? the story that I uh, tell so, myself. The stories are wonderful. Guys, thank you both Pleasure. so thank very you. much. Um, just great to see you, and thank you. Very beautiful Thank film. You. I Thank loved you. it.